Hello， 大家好，欢迎来到 Welcome to Yingying Things. This is Scott. This is Yingying, obviously. Um, so we decided to do a vlog while while we're in New York City, and Scott will be our main tour guide while we're in New York City. I will be. I think so. Okay. Well, we just arrived to it at our Airbnb in、uh, sort of East Brooklyn. You just finished putting on your makeup because you say makeup's not good when you're on the plane. No,、uh, actually, I think the that morning has been pretty crazy for us because as we landed,、uh, arrived at the airport, I was told that I not not only needed a、um, visa, which I already had,、uh, but also in, enrolling in a different program if you are a Chinese citizen. So、uh, I kind of panicked there and spent. Twenty minutes to do online. Luckily,、um, it was it went through instantly. So、um, well, the, so you have a American visa, tourist visa, B one B two. But, but as their policies are changing pretty frequently,、mm-hmm. uh, you needed to opt into some additional. I guess a two year audit.、Um, so if you happen to have a Chinese passport, even though you already have visa, it's good to. Regularly check、uh, check the policy online.、Uh, so in my case,、um, I was lucky to be able to do it on、um, on the spot and got approved right away. Put EVAS or something. Uh, I will put in the description box later because I forgot. And、well, that's probably an important piece of information for your Chinese. For sure. Yeah, but、Chinese. I just crazy experience in the morning. We sweated and not sure it's gonna go through. For a second, I thought, oh my god, the trip is ruined. Uh, but whatever, we're here. We、uh, absolutely. Well, there's also the issue of us forgetting to put my middle names on our、oh, board,、yeah. on my boarding pass, which is not a big deal. But the the self checkout machine or self checking machine didn't recognize his passport, so we had to go through the line, talk to the real person, and Sarah, Sarah, and it was a spelling mistake.、Uh, we checked in.、Um, no, it was really funny too because I noticed that the 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 actual person check in line. If you've been to an airport, you there's it's all automated now. Everyone in the checkout line to talk to an as an actual person was probably over fifty years old. Oh yeah, because they couldn't. I guess they couldn't operate on the machine. <laughs> Don't、yeah. be offended if you're over fifty years old. You you know how to do that.、Um, yeah. So I think we spent more than two hours just getting through, you know, checking and、um, customer. Customer process,、yeah, um, and I think the part, the other funny part is that there are two sections. If you were a Canadian citizen, you can go through a again a machine. You just enter your password, scan your password, and you're done. And just validate some questions. You're talking、um, about like U.S. customs. Yeah. yeah, U.S. customs. If you go through customs,、uh, but I, as a non-Canadian,、um, had to go. Talk to another human being. They a few questions, are very simple questions, but you have to line up.、Uh, but because Scott is traveling with me and is my husband, he had to go through that process as well. So I guess that's a longer wait than you would normal experience. Yeah, so the meeting for me. Anyhow,、uh, by the way, that's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> a people online will be offended. Yeah, that is a joke. Anyways,、uh, so we are at an Airbnb. I think it's absolutely cute. Um, yeah. If that's the right word to describe it,、uh, we'll take、tour. you guys for tour. So we are on Macon Street, Macon Street. Macon, yeah. It's very traditional old、uh, townhouse in New York.、Um, we are on the ground floor. We are on the ground floor, so we enter from here, and then obviously there's a lockbox. So we got our key. There are three different keys. We have to go through another metal door, a second door, and finally the last door. I think our host、um, or the landlord、uh, spent a lot of time on the decor, so you can see. How do you describe the style? Very hipster.、Well, yeah, it's pretty modern. It's modern hipster.、Um, it's very long, narrow apartment.、Um, But I love this unit because we only had those. What do you call those electrical units? Yeah. yeah.、Um, I like open fire. I th- oh, I, I can smell the I gas. I don't know how much cooking we plan on doing here. Probably n- nothing.、Um, yeah, but this very cute living area, living room. 
And that's our tiny bedroom, but more than enough. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna fit on this bed. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Lots of bricks going yeah, on. Exposed brick. brick cool. uh, vintage furniture. Light bulbs. Uh, let's go to the washroom. I, I don't think I can fit in there. Yeah. Pretty tiny bathroom, actually, but yeah. But functional. But functional. So our hose is actually super sweet. They left us with a welcome card with a Wi-Fi and a password, of course, and some fruits, and um, in the fridge, they have some milk, cereal, um, juice. Excuse our messiness, we just unpacked, but we're gonna go out soon to explore what is it, right? Sorry? We're going out soon to where? We are going to go to, uh, first we're gonna go to Williamsburg to a brunch place I looked up on Yelp called Reunion, and then you want to go to Glossier, Glossier and Shop Soho. And Soho. Perfect, so I'll see you guys there. ribbons on the top for only $50 and there's no tax, it's best deal ever. So those shoes save my toes in the end. We went to a brunch called um, Reunion, yeah. um, lots of food. Um, I had a lamb thing on a, on a bread, on a piece of bread. Uh, what did you have? I had like a sort of shawarma salad kind of thing. Mm. Very filling, very nice. Did we walk there? Yes, uh, no. No. I don't think we walked there. And, but after that, we walked... Uh, All the way across. Yeah, we walked uh, along sort of the uh, Brooklyn, Manhattan waterfront. And then we walked across the Williamsburg Bridge. Bridge. 
and then we walked across the lower east side and we walked all the way up to Times Square and then uh, we, we went to Soho we shopped yes yes we went to Soho we had then. some fancy shopping I mean mostly window shopping yeah. uh, but I did go to Glossier and bought a couple of products I've been uh, watching other YouTubes um, you know just raving about those products and I tried them on and I think I landed on um, bot.com they're very nice colors with very interesting scents like cherry coconut and I got this stretch concealer uh, I'm not sure about how long they can last but so far swatch wise they're pretty nice um, and I also got the very famous boy brow um, I don't know I just tried it out and the other one is the cloud paint so it's the cream formulation of some sort of blush. This was a very natural color. You can also use it for bronzing. Um, they are, uh, they, their packaging is amazing. Uh, just everything comes in the very, very cute bubbled bags. Um, so you, can even, you can travel with these, right? Yeah, you can also zip it. So I'm, I'm actually determined to recycle this and use it in the future. Uh, we also uh, stumbled upon a Glossier experience. Um, so they have this window covered entirely in red, and there's a sales specialist. Well, we don't know if it's a sales associate, uh, but she is dressed up as, I don't know, entirely in red as well. She's wearing a red trench coat. Yeah. yeah, and then we just asked her what is going on inside of it because uh, we could see a little faded Glossier. Um, branding behind the window. So that's my highlight of the day. You might want to talk about the dinner we just had, which is mind blowing. Uh, so it was on the Lower East Side at this place called Pig and Cow. No, P Pig and Pig and a Cow. Yeah, K H A K H A A O. It's a Thai place. Um, I think their chef's name is Lee something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we actually saw her, which is funny because uh, my colleague recommended this place to me and I look up the Instagram and I saw her photo and the woman just standing in front, in front of us um, leading the entire open kitchen, which is very fun scene to see. Um, so it was a Thai-Filipino sort of fusion uh, restaurant, like tapas style, so smaller plates. And we got some squid, we got some... Uh, octopus. Uh, yeah, octopus, sorry. <laughs> Uh, half it? chicken on um, coconut rice. Coconut rice is amazing. Um, and we finished with uh, egg noodles, uh, kosoi. Ko it's very traditional Thai food. Um, but their egg noodles and crispy noodles are just on point. And then one of the, I think, sous chefs um, actually gave us uh, the dessert, a dessert for. Yeah, it's a halo halo. So yeah. a little Filipino dish. Don't even know how to describe it. It just It's like a taro pudding inside a sort of like coconut yeah, it kind condensed of like, milk. Kind of tasted like a tapioca ice. tapioca kind of he compared it to like sort of a cereal, which it kind of was. It was really, really good. With shaved ice, yeah. Yeah, you will also see a little video. So in this vlog, I think we did a very bad job in explaining things. Uh, in the moment, so we kind of want to summarize for you guys, although you already have the footage. Um, but I think the food today we got were pretty on point. And I think we didn't plan anything, just kind of walk around. That's the beauty of uh, New York City. My lesson is that definitely wear comfortable shoes. If you're going to walk eight or nine hours straight. Yeah. Uh, we also got some cheap beer from the convenience store, something we cannot do in Canada. What's the beer's name? Uh, old English. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna drink that and finish tonight. Um, tomorrow we're gonna see some galleries and shows and art in general and have brunch with friends. So see you tomorrow.